So hello and welcome back to another video with a hopefully fun plugin. So this one is, whoa, what happened behind me? Anyway, this one is hopefully going to be quite a fun one. It's basically the opposite of the player water damage. This one, you have to be in water, which is kind of like um, the um, Origins SMP thing where Neachu can't leave the water. Which is, um, yeah, why not? A little bit of fun. As with all my plugins, it's not necessarily a useful thing, it's just a bit of fun on the side. So, before we actually take a look at the plugin though, I'd just like to thank everyone for like 370 subscribers. That's insane. Why are you all subscribing? Generally, why are you all subscribing? But, as always, if you enjoy the videos, maybe, maybe give me a cheeky little subscribe. It all helps me out and it's absolutely free to do. But without further ado, let's have a look at this plugin. So as you can see, I'm currently in survival mode. I'm in the water. Everything's cool with the world. Um, let's find some place where there's no water because that's my kryptonite all of a sudden. Apparently right here there's... Yeah, I don't... That... It hurts. I think um, there's a bug here. Yeah, I think flowing water is um, working kind of weird, but... That. Let's, let's go on a little explore of this um, ocean here. Once you get underneath, you can kind of zoom kind of fast. What are these things? I don't know. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really been into all these Minecraft updates where they did the water update and stuff. I don't understand many of it. I only recently learned that you can waterlog chests and stuff, which was quite interesting. Is that coral? Well, this is pretty, isn't it? Oh, look, we've got a sea pickle. Aha, oh, lovely sea pickle. So I actually have already built myself a little house under here. I just don't know where it is yet. I've just realised I'm like on half hearts now. Hey, here's my house. Isn't it beauty? Oh, I love it. Look. It's so beautiful inside there. Let's go inside. Oh god, I left the front door open. How rude of me. Ugh. What if a burglar came along and burgled all my stuff? Ugh. Well, that was interesting. I can't remember on what update they allowed paintings to go underwater either. I was sure that wouldn't have worked. Also, I don't remember what update they let you put chests in front of the paintings. Again, I, I didn't think that would work, but there we go. There's proof of it working. Got our lovely little windows here. Look at that. There's nothing really out there. We've got our bed. Um, yeah, nice bed. Nice little painting. Oh, there's a sponge in here. Um, I think we'll test this out at the end. Because I quite like my little house and I don't really want to destroy it. But I think we should um, put that back in our chest for now. So I'm going to go on land. I know, scary stuff. But I'm going to make it rain. Now, much like Neachu in the Origins SMP, with rain, I can get on land, but if I'm under a block, the rain will hurt me every second. Which isn't great, but if I'm just sitting on land like this, it's totally fine. But under the trees, no go. You cannot survive under the trees. But here we are, we're in my... <laughs> In my lovely little thing and there's a bug right there because the air bubbles are going down that's not supposed to happen oh no what's gone wrong uh, the bug is that when it's raining you can't mm. By the time that this plugin is on the Spigot site for a download, that will be fixed. Just 
clear the weather so that I can ah, actually go in my house. See, when the rain's clear, you can actually go in the house. As with my last YouTube short, which actually went quite well, this is how all Minecraft coding goes. You come up with a great idea, you code it, it kind of works, and then you find 40,000 bugs, usually mid-recording, which is very annoying. So there we go, we spawned our bed. Again, I'm surprised that beds work underwater. Um, I didn't think you could even place a bed underwater. But it's not waterlogged, which is really annoying because it totally could be, and I think maybe maybe Minecraft should do that. That would be quite a simple thing to do, and it would um, look nice. Then I guess not many people put their beds underwater because it's usually where you drown. Speaking of drowning, here's a sponge. This is like evil for me. I'm underwater but dying essentially. So, so yeah, we don't like the sponge. Uh, right, I think I have fixed the house. Beautiful. So there we go, that was a, another quick little plug-in video. So if you want to download this, there'll be a link in the description. It's for Spigot MC or Paper or any like servers that can use Bucket and Spigot plugins. Uh, this will not work for modded servers, especially if you're using Fabric because Fabric is annoying and they make it very difficult to actually make plugins like this because Fabric is more focused on the client side modding so they don't really document how to do anything like this. It's really annoying. It doesn't work for things like Sponge or Minecraft Forge either. This only works for Spigot. That's a Java edition as well, so no Bedrock edition here. Basically, if you want to use this, you need to use Java and you need to use Spigot or Paper. So if you have an idea for a plugin that I should code, leave it in the comments down below. Maybe I'll code it for my next video. But that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. In this one. Nikki, I'm going to be honest. I'm... Why are you pretending to be a fucking fish, Turbo? Blue. And you... Oh, my...